Hey guys, I'm BLTX, and welcome to a new Nintendo Fact video. In today's video, we'll be talking about one of the greatest glitches in all of video games. Missing No. For two decades, the story of Missing No has been circulated around the Pokemon fanbase. But what is it? Some say it's a cheat, some say it's a glitch, and others say it's a virus. But have a look at the real truth behind Missing No. First, let's talk about what it is, and its stats. If you just want to learn how to catch it, skip ahead to this time. The name Missing No is short for Missing Number. Why? Well, data in the game works on a 2 times multiplier. In other words, if you start with 2, and multiply it by 2, you get 4. Multiply that by 2, and you get 8. Multiply that by 2, and, well, you get the idea. Because of this, developers only had 128 entries for all 151 Pokémon. To combat this, they decide to go up even higher, and have 256 blocks instead. Most of these blocks contain missing data, simply referred to as Missing No. It's commonly believed that Missing No exists only to occupy extra space. Even though it exists in the game as a Pokémon, it has random information that was never meant to be. So, now that we've discussed why it exists, let's talk about how to catch it. For starters, you need to have one Pokémon on your team with Surf, and one Pokémon with Fly. Next. Talk to the old man Viridian City, who teaches you how to catch a Pokémon. Then get some cocoa and watch the cutscene where he catches a Weedle. Then, use your flying Pokémon to fly to Cinnabar Island. Head over to the right shore, and use your surfing Pokémon to swim in between the land and the sea. These tiles are the glitched ones you want to be at. Here, you'll commonly find Pokémon over level 100, and Pokémon from the last area you travel to. You can also find glitched trainer battles, but they aren't that common. And of course, you can find Missing No. Missing No is part bird type, a supposedly cancelled Pokemon type that was replaced with flying, and part normal type. He is 10 feet tall, and 3,507.2 pounds. He's labeled in the Pokedex as 000, and knows Sky Attack, Water Gun, and Water Gun. Yes, he knows the same move twice. Don't ask me why. However, he isn't the only glitch Pokemon you'll find. There's also a Pokémon referred to as M. He's the same as Missing No, but 23 feet tall and 880.6 pounds. If you do capture Missing No and look at him in your Pokédex, the game sprites can become scrambled and jumbled up. When M is captured, it'll continue to battle you. If captured a second time, M and Ditto will join your party. If M gains any experience, it'll level up into a Kangaskhan. If you've beaten the Elite Four, Encountering Missing No or M will cause your Hall of Fame to glitch out. Just look at this nonsense! Missing No has five different sprites. While one of the sprites can only be encountered in Pokemon Yellow, you can actually choose which one of these four will show up. The third, fifth, and seventh layers in your name will determine whether you can find Missing No at all, and, depending on which layers you use, will determine which sprite you get. Okay, one last thing. I want to know why this happens. So, let's find out. Thankfully, for my own sanity, it isn't that complicated. Simply put, when the cutscene where the old man catches a Weedle comes on, the player's name is moved into the slot where wild Pokémon data is stored. However, because Pokémon can't be caught in towns, the data shouldn't cause any problems. The real problem is that the right shore of Cinnabar Island is appointed as Land Tiles. As a result, the game will recall your in-game name as data, which is usually appointed to Pokémon. This is why your name is crucial to finding Missing No. <sighs> okay, epilogue. The legend of... What? Seriously?! You wanna know how to cheat your way to infinite Master Balls and rare candy?! Yeah! Fine. I hope you two appreciate the tireless hours I put into this script. <sighs> Encountering Missing No or M will give you something truly remarkable. You will obtain 128 copies of the item in the 6th slot. It's actually impressive! Infinite Master Balls? GOT! Infinite Rare Candy? GOT! Infinite Evolution Stone? GOT! Okay, are we done? Can I conclude this? Thank you, thank you. The Legend of Missing No is an interesting one indeed. There are so many mysteries and legends about Missing No that just doesn't end. Maybe someday there'll be more stories I can tell you. I really hope you enjoyed this video. 
Never have I had to make such a complicated video explaining so much. This was my biggest video yet, and you know what? I hope I get to make more like it. Tonda Gasa.